This is tutorial number five, and it covers Revolved Cut within SolidWorks. Now, the parts that we made in tutorial number four, we are going to use in tutorial number five, and we're going to cut them. Now, press Control Tab, and you can flip through the parts that we just made from before. Now, let's go to the pulley wheel, and let's click Front View, and click the front plane, and let's click Sketch rectangle and from the origin click it and go out until you're totally outside of the pulley click there now click the smart dimensioning tool and click the top line and the bottom line and we can make the height and for this let's make it 10 millimeters Click OK. Now click Feature, click Revolved Cut, and just like how we did before with the pulley, the axis of revolution is going to be that line inside there. Now click that, and we can see where the revolved cut is going to go around. Now it's going to go totally around, and it's going to cut what we want. Now click OK, and we revolve cutted the bottom of the pulley wheel there. Now, press Control tab and now we're at the 90 degree bend. Now click Front View, click Front Plane, and click Sketch, click Circle, and move it onto the outside until you can see the circle that we made from before. Now click the dead center of that circle and click there and let's make it 20 millimeters click enter click OK now click isometric view now instead of drawing a temporary axis in like we did before all we have to do is click view click temporary axis and we can see a temporary axis that's made with that circle now click Features, Revolve Cut, and click that temporary axis that we just put in. And with this, you can switch directions, just like the extruding cuts. And let's make it 90 degrees again, just because that's all that we have. And when you flip it, you can see it flips both ways. And that's the way we want it going. Now click OK. And we've cut all the way through it. So now, our 90 degree bend is an actual pipe and there's a hole through it. Now with this there's also an easier way to do it. Go into isometric view. Instead of doing a revolved cut and then from the revolved base that we already made, we can actually just make it from one revolved base. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Click front, click front plane, now zoom out a bit, click sketch, Click circle, in line with the origin, make one circle, and make one circle inside of it. Click OK, zoom out a bit more, and let's make a temporary axis to the side of that. Click feature, click revolve base and let's show the 90 degrees and this time it's just going to do the inside it's not going to do the big circle it's going to do what's in between the big circle and the small circle now click OK and we've made a thin walled circle OK now click control tab and we'll go to the donut now click front click the front plane and just like we made a sketch of whatever we wanted before let's draw another sketch of just whatever on the side just the design that we're going to cut into this circle okay click OK click feature click revolve cut 
and once again view temporary axis and click it because we're going to revolve around that shows us the preview now click OK click all bodies OK and we've cut into the donut that we made from before and this concludes tutorial number five